Nearly 100,000 people live here at the Menkaman camp in Lake State, South Sudan. The camp is located in a low-lying area which floods every time it rains. The past few months have been tough for 40-year-old Rebecca Dianga Chek. She fled from Bor, a town 20 kilometers away when fighting began. She came to Minkaman with her six children and her two-month-old granddaughter. Rebecca uses clean water from a well nearby to look after her family, but she's anxious about the stagnating flood water next to their tents. <laughs> Minkaman is overcrowded. The camp has the largest population of internally displaced people in the country that is accessible to humanitarian actors. Aid agencies here are doing what they can. They've dug several wells and latrines. But with so many people, providing everyone with basic necessities like clean water and sanitation is a challenge. Panchol Garang Kwech has been living here since January. Aid workers fear the poor sanitation conditions could trigger an outbreak of waterborne diseases. Femi Kondiroli is part of the UNHCR emergency response team, providing much needed aid in Minkaman. To the international community to support as soon as possible with the funds, because the IDPs in Minkaman, they are in the very bad situation, and if rainy season comes, the roads will be blocked, the assistance cannot be deployed to the population and they will be starving. UNHCR and other humanitarian partners plan to move the displaced to a new location on higher ground with improved amenities. Panchol lost everything when he fled the conflict. He and his family hope that with better water and sanitation, they can begin to rebuild their lives.